Hi everyone, it's time for your social science class. In today's class, we will discuss the exercises and the question answers of chapter 6, Lisa Time of class 5. Now, let's get started. Something to know, question A. Pick the correct option. 1. Snake boat race is held in A. Tamil Nadu B. Kerala C. Gujarat Option B. Kerala is correct. As snake boat race is held in Kerala. 2. A popular medium which establishes a direct contact between the actors and audience is A. Theatre B. Yoga C. Martial Art It's option A. Theatre Theatre is a popular medium which establishes a direct contact between the actors and audience. 3. A game played by Ladakhis during summer is A. Wrestling B. Boxing C. Polo Option C. Polo is correct. The Ladakhis play polo during summer. 4. Saina Nepal plays A. Tennis B. Badminton C. Cricket Option B. Badminton is correct. Saina Nevald is a badminton player. 5. A board game which was a part of Indian history and mythology was A. Chopper B. Scrabble C. Ludo Option A. Chopper is correct. Chopper was a part of Indian history and mythology. Question B. Fill in the blanks. Using the words given in the help box, we have to complete the fill-ups. 1. We all need time to relax our bodies. 2. Kushti is a traditional martial art of India. 3. The time spent away from work for entertainment and relaxation is called lease time. 4. Adaholi Atha, the tiger and goat game of Karnataka helps to develop strategy and teamwork. 5. Pranayam regulates breathing and relaxes our body as well as mind. Question C. Match the following. 1. Satranj. It will be matched with option E as Satranj is a board game. 2. Meditation. Meditation will be matched with yoga. Option A. As meditation is related to yoga. 3. Karate. Karate is a form of martial art. So we will match it with option D. 4. Notanki. Notanki is related to theater. So we will match Notanki with option B. Theater. 5. Kathai. Kathai will be matched with option C. Storytelling. It is so because in Tamil Nadu, a story is called Kathai. Now we will do question number D. Answer briefly. Which two qualities are required for a martial art practitioner? Following are the qualities that are required for a martial art practitioner. First, physical strength. And second, coordination. Two, mention two advantages of reading. Reading has many advantages. A few of them are as follows. First, it enhances knowledge and awareness. Second, 
it develops imagination expression and vocabulary 3 name your favorite board game my favorite board game is chess here you can write the name of any other board game for example ludo snake and ladder scrabble etc 4 Mention two qualities of a sports person. The two qualities of a sports person are physical stamina and mental alertness. 5. Name three water sports. The three water sports are river rafting, sailing and water skiing. Question E. Answer the following questions. Question 1. Define martial art. Martial art is the practice of combat or self-defense. It needs physical strength, skill and coordination. Question 2. Why is storytelling called an art? How can a story Teach us values. Give examples. Storytelling is called an art because it involves our voice, variety of expressions and different themes. A story can teach us values. For example, we have several examples like our epics Ramayana and Mahabharata. They teach us moral and social values. Also, there are the historical events and the stories of famous personalities, which teaches us values. So, in this way, the stories can teach us values. 3. How does breathing play an important role in improving our physical and mental health? The breath helps our body to absorb oxygen. When we inhale and remove carbon dioxide when we exhale. Long deep breath gives immediate mental and physical relaxation. So this is how breathing plays an important role in improving our physical and mental health. 4. What is the importance of chapal in the life of villagers? Importance of Chapal in the life of villagers First, it is a meeting place for them. Second, people sit together, read newspaper, watch television, celebrate festivals together at Chapal. Third, people of the village solve disputes or discuss the welfare issues of the village at Chapal. Question 5. How do outdoor games score over indoor games? The outdoor games score over indoor games as they keep us fit and healthy. Outdoor games develop physical strength. Outdoor games also teach us team spirit, coordination, etc. The outdoor games score over indoor games. Thank you.